Sounds fair. Okay. Hey. Maybe a little bit. Eh, move a little to the right. I can't see the screen. Now for today's train news. Today's headlines are volleyball beating investigation. The school claims to have left teaching methods up to its staff. It has denied once again that it had any knowledge of the beatings. Pollen warning as of next week. Greater volumes and arriving later than previous years. Hotspots of Tokyo. Experience art in Shibuya. The Matarame exhibit opens next week. Hmm. People are really talking about the Kamoshida incident. No one in this car really knows the one that we're the ones who did it. Don't say it! <laughs> Well, I mean, people just think you're meowing, so it doesn't matter. But still, don't say it out loud. Yep, yep. <laughs> oh, yeah. You've got exams starting on Wednesday. Don't tell me you forgot. Open your textbooks. Anyway, today we will be starting... Eh, we'll be talking about the tale of the bamboo cutter. Most theorize it's the oldest story in Japan. For some reason, the oldest science fiction story in the world. But if you ask me, the oldest story in Japan is about a, a terrible woman. I mean, Princess Kaguya. It, it gives her suitors absurd tasks, demand fancy gifts, and then runs them off to the moon. Some men lose their fortunes, some are humiliated, and some get serious wounds or go blind. Women like Princess Kaguya actually show up in lots of stories from around the world. Now then, I'm a Mayakun. Do you know the answer? You've probably heard that a woman uses her wiles to lead people to their doom is a femme fatale. So what is the literal translation of the phrase femme fatale? Is fatal woman. This is it. Exactly. That is correct. The answer is Fatal Woman, in French, of course. Some famous examples are the witch Morgan Le Fay from the Arthurian legend and Queen Salome from the Bible. Not to mention, in the wild, seductive dancer of opera Carmen. Well, we know of a Carmen and it's Anne's persona. Whoa, he actually knew that? Maybe I should ask to borrow his notes. Nice go. Wow, you must actually be smart to be able to answer a question like that. Sure, thanks for, for being rude, man. We're still... We're still level one. Let me just warn you that exams aren't so easy that you can pass them with a single night of cramming. Take your time and make sure you understand the material, okay? Hmm. You heard her. Must be rough being a student. Well, you have nothing to lose from studying. Give it all you got. I don't know. <laughs> None of these posts are any good. Everyone's just bitching about their parents or their boyfriends. Uh, there ain't even a hint of a hint about a new palace. We can't get everything online. Finding a post with a name and location is asking a lot. Guess we just gotta find one ourselves then. Are you seriously suggesting we look for a target that even the police have overlooked? Yeah, you're right. We should probably just hold off till exams are done with, huh? We can wait and see for a little longer, then worry about coming up empty handed if it happens. Oh. This place is off limits, you know. <sighs> we'll get out of here once we're done chatting. Anyways, what's Miss Council President want with us? The troublemaker, the center of gossip, and the infamous transfer student. Hmm, interesting combination. Way to start a conversation. By the way, it seems as though you got to know Mr. Kamashita pretty well. Not really. 
Yeah, you know, he's only been here a month or so. I heard Mr. Kamoshida used a volleyball team member to spread details of your past record. Don't you hate him? Mr. Kamoshida, I mean. What's all this about? My friend here is an upstanding guy. I don't mean to offend. Many students have been shaken up by what happened with Mr. Kamoshida. The rumors about that odd calling card-esque posting aren't going away either. I didn't expect someone like you would care about that tactless stuff, Nijima-senpai. I don't know that it was tactless. Anyways, we done here? We can't leave if you keep talking to us. At least try to understand my position. Being forced to deal with this horseplay. Horseplay? Ah oh, yes, by the way. It's been decided that this place will be closed off due to the incident. I heard some people are coming up here without permission, after all. I'm sorry to have interrupted you. What was that about? She's on to us. That girl seems rather sharp. We should be cautious of her. She really pisses me off. Eh, we should be careful. Talk about a pain in the ass. That reminds me. Study hard. Especially you, Ryuji. There are bound to be traps that will need to be solved with brains. <laughs> wow. Keep in mind that everything you do in your daily lives has an impact on your abilities. True. Studying won't be so bad if we just think of it as helping us prepare to be phantom thieves. I guess you got a point. But man, it's just so lame. I was all fired up about helping people, not about studying. I mean, <laughs> we're students. What do you expect? Well, I do have somewhere interesting to show you beforehand. You guys did originally promise to help me out with my mission, after all. Huh? Mission? Follow me. What are you bringing us here for? Just do as I told you. All right, I've got the Phantom Aficionado website up. Now what? Look for a post with a full name in it. I already said there's no info on any big shots. Don't you remember? But man, people actually go put someone's real name on here. That's some scary shit. You won't listen to what I say. No, wait, there's no name on this one. Someone's badmouthing me in online chat rooms. This one's got a name. Ignore those. Aren't there any posts about more serious trouble? I don't know what to do about my ex who's stalking me. His name is Natsuhiko Nakanohara. It says he's a teller at City Hall. A government worker stalking someone? Get grief. <laughs> That should be a suitable target. All right, now get the meta nav ready. We're just gonna jump right into a palace? Fine by me. Hey, what happened to all that talk of unanimous decision? What do you think we should do? Yeah, sure, let's go. That's what I'm talking about. Okay then, let's go. We need a name and a place, right? So the name is... Actually, we don't need a location this time. Just enter exactly what I say. The key word is... Mementos. Huh? What are you trying to pull? Just listen to me. It should work. I think. Ah, jeez. That again? Just do it. Uh... Mementos, was it? Candidate found. We got a hit? Just as I thought. Oh, 
All right, this is actually giving an explanation of a new thing that we have available to us from this point on. Everyone disappeared. Also, I just because I'm seeing it, it in that the hallway to the Shibuya station, the the picture of the girl in the blue dress and everything, that's a reference to Persona 4. Uh, one of the uh, party members in that game. So it's interesting that they like referencing that game in this way. It kind of feels like I'm walking on air. Is this that Nakanohara guy's palace? That's half right, but half wrong. This is a type of palace, but it's different from the normal ones. Come on, let's head down. The shadows here lurk underground. I don't quite understand why. It may be because they're drawn to something. Underground? How are we going to get there? How? You use it every day on your way to school. Follow me. Uh, wait up, cat. Hey, we better go ahead and go ahead and head down. This place. Wait, our clothes changed? The shadows know we're here? Since the moment we stepped in. You should have told us. We're still safe right here. I've come to investigate a number of times. Shadows never come up to this floor. But it's a different story once you go down. This place is simply teeming with them. More importantly, what is this Mementos? It's about time you start explaining. Mementos is everyone's palace. Huh? What do you mean everyone's? A palace as grand as the previous castle only forms when a person's wishes are extremely distorted. So instead of many individual palaces, the general public has one gigantic shared palace. That's where we are now. Mementos. Now that you mention it, this place feels a bit different from Kamoshida's palace. When you say shared, you mean they're all put together? Even though they're just strangers? Think of it as the collective unconscious. No, never mind. You wouldn't understand that. So what you're saying is... Using this place, we can even change the hearts of people who don't have a palace? Correct. The steps to do so are slightly different, though. But this place looks pretty huge. Are we going to be able to get around just by walking? It seems the time has finally come. Morgana! Transform! Come now, Panther. Ladies first. A car? No way! I love how the headlights are Mona's eyes. This comes from the way cognition materializes in the metaverse. Plus a bit of extra training. It's not dissimilar to how you guys transform. You turn it into a car is totally different than our clothes changing. I mean, he's not wrong. For some reason, cats turning into buses is an extremely widespread cognition among the general public. How? <laughs> Why a bus, though? That, too. No idea. <laughs> Gee, thanks. Why didn't you do this at the castle? I would have if I could. But that castle was cramped. There were tons of stairs, and no way this fits on top of a chandelier. I mean, he does have a point. Hey, Skull! Ladies first! Hey, stop pulling me! Yo, that's dangerous! Panther, please be gentle! <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> Let's go. 
Um, there's no one in the driver's seat. Why are you all just sitting back there? I'm a car, remember? <laughs> I'm not going anywhere unless someone drives me. You can't drive yourself? I didn't, uh, no. Do you know how to drive? I mean, fair point. They probably don't know how to drive. Um. No, I don't have a license. That's what you're worried about. <laughs> I've uh, I've picked other options before. I didn't pick that one. <laughs> so. <laughs> okay, that 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 was that was good. Eh, who cares? We're driving a cab car through the metaverse. I mean, he does have a point. All right then, we'll leave the driving to you. Now start the engine. You can't drive if it's not running. Jeez, oh, what a pain. Where's the key to this thing? Why would you need a key? There's a switch just down next to the steering wheel. <laughs> that tickles. Lower. Lower! Um. Oh, there. That feels so good. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why I just think that line right there was delivered so well, but there you go. <laughs> uh, is that Perrin I hear? Oh, what a creepy ass car! <laughs> hey, it is weird to hear a car purring, but you know. Don't underestimate my meowdery engine. I'm sorry. No, I'm done. That pun. No, I'm done. <laughs> All right. Now, Mementos is going to be one of the few Whoa. places uh, that we're going to be visiting a lot in this game. Man, this place totally does feel like a palace. Yeah, I guess it would be strange driving on tracks like this in the real world. Anyway, Nakanohara is somewhere in here, right? Most likely in a segment of his own creation. Don't worry, it won't be the size of a palace. Our next step is to find an entrance to that segment. And again. And what's this entrance going to look like? I have no idea, but strong distortions should be pretty obvious. It should be a pretty obvious visual clue. So we're just going to go wandering around for it then. What a pain in the butt. All right, so a couple things. Uh, if uh, you can already tell, uh, the exclamation points where we need to go. Now, Mementos is a very unique palace in that the uh, layout is randomly generated each time you come into Mementos. So you'll always have to start from scratch again. Uh, when it comes to it, I'll show more or less what we'd be getting into as we do these uh, for this episode. I, in future ones, I would say unless we run into a fight of like new shadows or we're doing specifically like this quest, because that's what this is. These are like side quests for this game. Uh, unless we're doing that, it, it, and I show that part of it, I, I'm not going to show pretty much much else. Like, I'll show some of the silly conversations that they have, because golly, they have some funny conversations while you're driving around. Um, but other than that, there's not that much to it. Uh, usually in the area that you're able, the, the deepest areas you can go to in Mementos are pretty much what you would find in the palace that you would be dealing with. So, there is that. And you can, as long as you run up to the enemy and then just press the X button, you can automatically get the uh, 
I get an ambush going. It's very hard to get ambushed yourself in Mementos. It's possible, but it's very rare to actually have that happen. So we're just going to go ahead and take care of these guys. Also, Mementos will be a source of a lot of money in this. And All right. also so uh, materials. As you can see, the little small boxes here are kind of like the things that you would pillage in a palace. Um, oh, well, we didn't get the ambush that time around. That one is no joke. Be careful. We almost got there. Oh, no. Uh... Yeah. Not bad! Not bad at all! But we do have this. Well, that's unfortunate. <laughs> I mean... Sure, he's, this is going to be a lot here. And that's all. Okay. That enemy was really weak. They were pretty weak. I will admit that. I do typically like to fill it out just so I know that things are completely looked over and there's not any hidden areas because there are hidden areas in Mementos. I don't know if they're in the... F I can't remember if they're only in the first area or what exactly, but uh, you are fire and you're gone. We're gonna pass this to on here. The baton pass made you strong. Yeah, let's just take you out. So, it, good thing is, if you actually miss out on any of the shadows to negotiate with, you can find them here in Mementos. So, if at any point in the uh, big fight against things in the palace, you run into that issue where it's like, man, I didn't find this shadow. You could find them in Mementos afterwards. Well, if it wasn't obvious, that's a distortion. So, we'll deal with that in a minute. Uh, alright. Lifestone. That's pretty good. That's a way down. Treasure chest spot. Here we go. Must be something good inside. There we go. You will find random treasure chests in Mementos, and you can also find random locked chests in Mementos. So that's why you also want to have a lot of lockpicks. Dude, what the hell is this? It's all wavy. This is the place. I sense the target up ahead. Now, are you ready, Joker? Let's do it. Hey, something's there. It seems to be Nakanora's shadow. Let me see. Some front desk guy at City Hall must became a stalker, right? But I don't know how much evil he's done, but we have to do something if he's bothering other people. All right, let's go talk to him. Who are you? Are you that stalker? Haven't you ever stopped to consider how your ex feels? She's my property. I can do whatever I want with her. It's not like she didn't treat me like a plaything. What's wrong with me doing the same? 
You can't treat someone like shit just because they did it to you. What a load of crap. We're gonna change the hearts of all the bastards like you. There are millions of people far worse than me. What about Marame? He stole everything from me, but you're letting him off the hook? Adorame? What the hell's this guy going on about? Get ready. Here he comes! Alright, we actually did have a chance to fuse for this persona. Now that I finally have what's rightfully mine, I'm not gonna let you take it away. Look, this is a winner-takes-all world. Come and fight me, and I'll show you what I mean. I know that's not how he sounded, but I'm just going by what the little imp thing looked like. Alright, not too much to say about this. That's not good. What? Skull, why did- why? Why? Why was that a thing? Alright, um... I... You know, Jack Frost? Oh, no. That's actually not the Well, I guess that means... Yep. Oh gosh, why? Um, I messed that up totally. All right. Using this. I forget. I didn't think about the technical thing. That that's my fault. Go down. Here we go. Can we do this? Maybe. Yeah, it, we're, we're gonna be fine. This is gonna take a little bit. Um. Alright. Here we go. Well, that that. That was a thing that happened. There we go. I guess putting him to sleep was a good idea. So, there we go. 151, that's not too bad. Yep. Well, there we go. We got fear put into him. Uh, yeah, let's do media real quick. It's not gonna do as much as Dia, but should be just fine. Oh yeah, that that's way better. Yeah, fear does is kind of like a paralyze, but you don't have to worry about them uh, like shocking you in return. Also, the level All right. Level up. Definitely needed that. I'm I'm sorry. Please forgive me. I couldn't stop obsessing. Not after this person I trusted used me and then disposed of me. Which person are you talking about? Hold on. Are you talking about that guy you mentioned earlier? Madarame? I was afraid of being thrown away again, like some worthless thing. So some selfish bastard was making you suffer too. Still, you shouldn't have dragged an unrelated woman into your mess. That is true. Yes, I know that now. I'll put an end to my love for her. Hey, you can change people's hearts, right? In that case, won't you change Matarami's heart? 
before more people fall victim to him? Change Matarame's heart? Hmm? What's that shining thing? It's the bud of a treasure. Had we left it be, it very well may have blossomed into a palace. Joker, this will make a perfect reward. Uh -huh. So Naka Nohara had a change of heart, right? Most likely. But how are we supposed to know if we succeeded? Well, I mean... Well, the lady posted the dude's name online. If he really does change, she'll probably comment again. I mean, pretty much. That seems reasonable. You do have a point. Either way, training against shadows down here is the best. It's great prep for our next target. It's also nice to be able to give courage to the people who post their problems online. On top of that, we can sell whatever treasure we get for some cold hard cash. That's the best. Well, sounds like things are going pretty great for us. All right, we did it. Hold on. There's somewhere I want to show you guys before we leave. What, there's more? Don't worry, it won't take long. All right. Well then. Why don't we leave this room first? You wanna leave, Joker? Yep. Let's leave. Guess we gotta do it. So, what else do you wanna do? There's something I'd like to check in an area further down. That platform we saw earlier should be the way down. Let's head there first. Wait, you've been here before, right? Don't you... Hey, got a... like a map or something? That would hold no meaning in this place. The layout changes every time you enter. For real? Wait, so our path changes too? This place is full... is few... is the fused cognition of countless people... countless number of people. It's constantly shifting. Even so, our destination should be pretty close. Count on you, Joker. Be nice if I could exit that. That would also be fantastic. All right. Oh, this setup again. Fine. All right. I mean, if it was something to be scary about, then maybe. But you know, I don't think it's something to be considered scary. Well, he says it's almost scary. It's not quite enough to be scary. Alright. Go smoke your cigar, Mona. Let's keep going. We should be actually getting some decent money out of this. Yeah, we're at 41. So we've recovered pretty much from how... Uh, we've had all that money from... Oh, hold on a sec. You guys hearing something? What was that? The trains are totally running! Of course they are. We're in the subway, you know. Yeah, but I thought this was a palace. Then maybe this is how the public views this place? I don't know. People go through this darkness every day? I mean, technically, yes. Forget that! You sure we're cool running around on these tracks? Should be fine as long as we're not on the same ones. I think. I'm no train expert. Don't worry, we are. You gotta be kidding me! Anyway, let's head to the lower area. It should be right after we go down that escalator. Alright. We are now in area two. This way. All right, there it is. The thing I want to make sure of is inside. All right. This thing. What is this place? 
It's kind of creepy. And a dead end at that. Why does it even exist? Now hold on. Just watch. This is most likely not an ordinary wall. If my hunch is correct... Oh, there you go. It opened. A new area has been confirmed in the depths. Updating guidance information. See? It's just as I thought. What do you mean? That wall wouldn't budge when I came here by myself before. But it'd be weird for the deepest part of Mementos to be some normal place like this, wouldn't it? So you're thinking there's gotta be more? Yeah, now that Kamoshida's palace is gone and people are actually starting to talk about us? I knew something had to have changed down here. How deep is it? Should we try going further down? Let's not. That's not why we're here today, remember? We've already accomplished our goal. We should head back and I'll explain more once we're home. And, unfortunately, you are forced out. Hey, look! A person? In mementos? Hmm... Maybe it's this one. Ooh! Tasty! Hey, what's he drinking? Oh! Hmm. I thought I felt something strange for a second. So, who are you guys? We should be asking you that! Good point. Sorry about that. I mean, his question was pretty valid, too. <laughs> it's customary for a human to introduce itself before asking another human for its name. Thanks for reminding me, Mr. Um, Tanuki? No, um, hmm. Cat? What took so long to come up with cat? And I'm not either of those. Just face it, you're a cat, Mona. Yeah, uh, getting confused about that seems pretty normal to me. My name is Jose. I'm looking for flowers. I'm pretty surprised to see some normal humans running around. I didn't know people could just come here. Well, we are pretty special. <laughs> wait, wait, that's not important. Who you are is what matters right now. When you said you were looking for flowers, did you mean that floating thing? That's right, pretty lady. Those seem to be the ones I've been looking for. I'm collecting as many of them as I can, because I'm studying humans. Studying humans? That's why you turned a flower into a drink? That is weird. Yep. Drinking flower juice counts as studying? <laughs> Your brain's gonna hurt, Ryuji. Don't worry about it. Hey, could you guys help me with my research? <laughs> How? By collecting flowers for me. I wouldn't ask you to do it for free, though. I find all kinds of stuff you can use while you're exploring. I'll trade you some of that stuff for more flowers. Well, what do you think? Should we try and get him some flowers? I mean, I don't see why not. Seems like it could do us some good, but we don't know this kid. We gotta be careful. Oh, I'm sure he's fine. Let's give him a hand. He seems like he could use it, and it shouldn't be too hard to pick flowers while we're exploring, right? Okay. Any other reasons? <laughs> he called me pretty lady. Of course. No, Lady On! <laughs> Mona, stop. Yeah, it's probably fine. I mean, he said he'd give us useful stuff and all. What'd he say? 
Well, are you going to help me find the flowers or not? Yeah, let's help. Thanks. Wait, wait, hang on a second. We still have no idea who this kid is. Don't go thanking us just yet, bud. What's with the antagonistic attitude, dude? Aw, are you tired, kitty? You seem grumpy. <laughs> I love the attitude Jose takes towards Mona. I am not a cat! And I'm not grumpy! Hey, you certainly sound grumpy. Uh, oh, okay. Then, are you hungry? I learned hunger can make a person turn grumpy. It's called hangry. Here, you can have this. Thanks, but I'll pass. Well, no, stop. Yeah, you're making the kid worry about you even more. Uh, guess there's no way out of this one. I'll be looking for flowers around here, so stop by and say hi if you see me. Oh, and I guess just gathering flowers would be kind of boring, huh? Since you humans seem to enjoy playing so much, I'll come up with some fun games for you. Uh, what? Ah, oh, I also remembered something humans like to say to each other. Good job. Who in the hell was that? No clue. If he's studying humans, does that mean he isn't one? <laughs> I mean, he just seemed like some nice kid. Well, he didn't feel like a shadow. I wouldn't say he's dangerous. At least for now. Anyways, if we see any of those flowers he wants, I guess we can grab them for him. Whoa! Uh, I totally forgot! Hey! There's something I've been meaning to give all of you. Something for us? Yes. The thing is... I picked up something strange while I was exploring earlier. Here it is. Huh? Huh? What the heck is that? <laughs> it's a star. At least, that's what they look like, so that's what I call them. A star? Um... Um, so what'd you... What about it did you want to show it? Humans can make wishes on stars, right? That's so interesting. Stars granting wishes. So this star is going to grant your wishes. Wait! Our wishes? <laughs> or it would be nice to think that. Nice to think that? Seriously? Hey! I'll give this to you. It's so sparkly and beautiful. You want it too, don't you? It's a sign of our friendship. I know what it, that is. Doing good? Off I go now. Good job. Hey, wait! Well, there he goes. Uh... A star, huh? He said it'd grant our wishes or something. I highly doubt something like that would actually happen, even in mementos. Well, I guess you can at least try making a wish. Okay, I wish for all-you-can-eat parfaits w with zero calories. All right. An extra-large beef bowl with pork soup on the side. Mm. Nothing's happening. Uh, was Skull's wish too petty? Huh? Uh, you're one to talk. Hmm, I guess things just don't happen that easily. Hey. Uh, but we can't just throw that thing away. Hold on to it for now. Well, then. Well, that was a bit unexpected. Let's head back now. Oh, boy. Jose. He's a character, but I like him. Mementos, huh? Still don't really get that place. Oh, and what was that wall thing we saw at the end? Not entirely sure, but that wall must have been there for a reason. If Mementos is the public's palace, though, it might be affected by the general public's belief in us. 
Why do you know so much about it, Morgana? Mm, my memories are a little foggy in that regard. However, I need to know what lies in the depths of Mementos, no matter what. No matter what? Mementos is not just everyone's palace. It's the source of all palaces. It used to be that palaces like Kamoshida's with one ruler simply didn't exist. So if we can do something about the greatest cause of distortions, I'm certain my appearance will... You wanted someone to save you too. I... I just needed pawns! Oh, come on. You know... I see. So that's why you came poking your nose around with us. I'll help you. I hope you can regain what you've lost. I'll... be relying on you guys. By the way, Morgana, are you a boy? Or might you be a girl? Could it be car? <laughs> I love that. <laughs> With his attitude, definitely a dude. Yeah, I agree. I wanted to make sure, though, just in case. He could turn out to be pretty ancient. <gasps> what if he smells like an old person? <laughs> Why was that the first thing you thought of, Ryuji? <laughs> Stop that. <laughs> In any case, of course I'm male. I mean, I... What is it? No, it's nothing. We're done talking about that. Anyway, we now know that we can perform minor changes of heart in mementos. If we come across any eye-catching leads, it may be worth dealing with them for a bit of combat practice. There weren't any other outstanding ones, though. I bet we'll get tons of them if we can change someone famous and make the Phantom Thieves well known. The big fish are our main targets, after all. First, you need to find a way to get through your exams. Yeah, we probably need to do that. I gotta study. You can now go to Mementos. This is where you can change the hearts of petty criminals who do not have their own palaces. For now, be patient until the next target appears. Man, that Nakanohara guy was a piece of cake. If we can take down some kind of big target next, we're totally going to be famous. Hey, we're trying to help people, not get famous. But if people don't know who we are, how are we going to give them any courage? I mean, that helping people comes first for Yuji. <laughs> Am I wrong? I don't necessarily think you're wrong. But we should really be doing this... Uh, uh, but should we really be doing this at all if we don't have a reason like with Kamoshida? You mean we shouldn't be sticking our noses in other people's business? I don't know, man. If someone's in trouble, it's only natural to want to help them out. I mean, I agree with that. And I guess I was glad we were able to solve that stalker case. Plus, what good are our personas if we don't use them for good? Don't you agree, Ren? I just want to help people. Same goes for me. We don't got much time to be arguing over this, either. That Matarame guy... Matarame guy? Eh, it bothers me. Yeah, but... No getting carried... But getting carried away. Eh. But no getting carried away, understand? And don't do anything to stand out like failure exams <laughs> oh crap speaking of that i hadn't studied at all about that star uh the one jose gave us wonder if it could help us ace the exams yeah somehow i doubt that oh uh, i gotta just uh i'll just settle for not failing bargaining isn't gonna help you here wouldn't we use it <laughs> we wouldn't use it for that in the first place 
Maybe you should, I don't know, just put some actual effort in. You still got time. Fine. What's up? Is it Ryuji? Did he mention anything about Mementos? If there's anything you want to know, I can tell you. Hey, oh, hey. hey! Yes, we are definitely using the nutrients. Oh. These are some reasonably priced nutrients. This ought to bring, uh, bring a bit of life back to this plant. Oh my gosh. Yes. Why don't you do for a while? Oh. Ah, you ran into something, right? Yeah. Let's <laughs> do Guy McVer. Damn, they shut off the power. How are we going to rig an alarm now? Whoever said you need electricity to make an alarm? Give me that empty soda can. I'll just tie it to this string. It's a story about a man who never gives up, beating all odds with science and ingenuity. Mm. This guy makes all sorts of tools with whatever he has his hands on. Impressive. Oh. So we finished watching Guy McVer, huh? You learned a thing or two about proficiency from watching mm. this drama. I'll put some more okay. work into that. Let's go to the DV eh, let's return the DVD soon. Well then. Well, it's starting to get late. Let's head to bed soon, okay? Alright. 